Today we're making maple pecan banana bread. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today's a really cool recipe and I saw this. When I saw the original recipe, it used some ingredients I'm not gonna buy. I'm just not gonna buy them. So I figured how could I do this, still have it taste good. This is what I came up with. It is really cool and really easy to make. All the ingredients are listed down below. And remember, if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and also ring that bell, so that way you get notifications when I do new videos. All right, let's get started. We're gonna take our dry ingredients. Our flour, baking soda, <laughs> and baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, and mix those together. Now, in our bowl, I'm going to add room temperature butter or slightly melted, along with sugar. And we're going to start mixing that up. To that, I'm going to add an egg. Get the best quality maple syrup that you can. If you can't get maple syrup and you just have to use just regular syrup, which is probably maple, that is okay also. Right now, I'm going to add a healthy pinch of salt. Make sure to scrape this every once in a while. Vanilla, our mashed bananas. I'm going to add about half of our flour mixture. Milk, and that's buttermilk. The rest of our flour mixture. And then mix that till it's just combined. Once this is combined, I'm going to put this into a greased loaf pan. We're going to sit this aside and make a topping. This topping is sugar, pecans, flour, cinnamon, I probably should have done this in a bigger bowl, maple syrup, and a little bit of oil. We're going to take our topping and then just sprinkle this over the top, as the name sort of suggests. Now I'm going to take this to a 350 degree oven and then bake it for 30 minutes, cover it with aluminum foil, and then bake it for about 30 more minutes. I let the banana bread cool in the pan for 15 minutes, then I took it out of the pan and we're letting it cool. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. That is super moist and delicious. Let's give this a taste. That is moist and spicy and oh so good. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.